This is a Slayer question. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, Vamp? Yeah? 21, you have a Slayer question? Um, yeah. Um, okay, I just, we just recently broke up, me and my fiancé, and the uh, kind of a new twist to it is that we're both vampires, and a while ago when we were first engaged, we both took a blood pact where we promised we were never going to leave, and now he's gone, and dating somebody else and i'm wondering you know what should i do to get him back i mean he left you well yeah it was last what does that mean in the vampire culture that somebody breaks a blood pact um and and please define for me what the vampire culture is maybe you guys can help me couldn't you put some garlic around a schlong or something (laughs) um no the garlic doesn't work that's just a hollywood thing oh okay um well if you drink the blood of another from what i've been told you are married and so is that is that, is that what you guys do yeah mm-hmm. and everybody on my side hated him mm. and nobody liked him and i didn't care because he was mine and what makes every- you, what makes you so desperate to to have somebody like that what, what what's that all about well I mean, you I, literally have to consume him. It's so important to you. I just made a pact with him. That yeah, I, but why is that so important? Do you have to? He's the, is he the only guy you've ever had a relationship with? The second. What happened with the first one? The first one stumped me after two years, and his girlfriend is now going to have a baby with him. So did did you drink some of his blood? Um. Well, I a little, but he never drank mine. So. All right. Well, there, he was, that's the problem. He, he was a oh, jeez. That doesn't count. He was a vampire, also. Uh, that I don't know about. <laughs> I think he was, but I'm not. Oh, wait, wait. How do you get to be a vampire? You can be born into it. Oh, you can. But let's just let's just say, like, I'm I'm intrigued. I'd like to become a vampire. How do I get into this? Um, you can find somebody who is. Uh huh. Of the opposite sex. Tom Carey, any you guys uh, sprouting wings later? Are you okay? No, <laughs> no I, I just got off my wings. They were made of steel. It was an airplane, actually. <laughs> He's a modern day vampire, man. <laughs> yeah. Jet setting vampire. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that when you take a blood pack like that, it's deeper than if you were to have sex with somebody. And. Yeah, but well, it wasn't too deep for him. Right. And, and Vamp, you know, <laughs> left, what yeah. is it about you that you have to be in these intense, chaotic relationships? What is that? I don't know. I, what, ha- what, what was your family upbringing like? What was I when I was brought up? No, how was the family situation when you were brought up? Typical 50s type family. Really? Nothing ever happened in that system? Um, It's pretty much not existed in this world. What do you mean? The typical 50s family. Right. And so what what happened in your family? Um, nothing pretty typical, I guess. I'm just a weird one out of the group. Like, what what is typical? Um, original parents. What happened to you that wasn't so typical? I just realized that I was different from everybody else. Hmm. I, I seem to have a unique gift that most people don't have. Well, what, well, how does it manifest itself? I mean, what what are the perks of being a vampire? Some people can be telepathic. Mm-hmm. You have that? A little. All right. What else? You can be psychic. Uh-huh. You, you have that? Yeah. Uh-huh. So you knew he was leaving? Pretty much, yeah, but I... Right. But you couldn't control him with your telepathy, right? I'm not that strong yet. Oh, okay. You I build up. I just learned about it last year. Uh-huh. Hey, let me guess where you work. I'm going to guess. A video store. Do I bet them? Do you work at a video store? No. No? Where do you work? A pizza place. Oh, great. Absolutely. Just who you need handling the pepperoni. She's <laughs> <laughs> got the, the blood uh, of, of another man <laughs> all over her hands, and she's uh, she's throwing dough. What do you do for this pizza place? I cook. Oh, oh. oh fantastic. <laughs> all she, right. She makes the sauce. <laughs> Do you ever put any weird vampire stuff in there? No. Someone gives you a little toot on the phone, you don't give them a little uh, shot of hemoglobin? No, I want to, but I don't. <laughs> you want to? 
sometimes. But that's, no. that's, you, listen, you're, you can infect other people with that. Don't All right, let ridiculous. me just make a quick plea to the uh, management of the pizza place, if you're listening. <laughs> Please, move her to the register. <laughs> Uh, All right, listen, uh, Vampira. Mm-hmm. Are you, do you take any medications, Vamp? No. Have you been medications in the past? If you count the pill. What medication? No, the pill. Yeah. Uh, that's the only pill, medication you've ever been on. Yeah. All right. All right. Listen, there's obviously some some difficulty in your life here that has caused you to go to to the dark side, and obviously the whole vampire thing is not uh, it's not panning out the way you thought it would. In the early years. It sounded like a good idea, I'm, I'm guessing in high school, but it's turned out to be kind of, eh, the guy's left, you, you suck some blood, now you're making pizza. <laughs> right? Things aren't going the way they could go. So I'm saying drop this whole vampire thing, and I don't know, maybe pick up the werewolf thing. Or <laughs> Drew, do you, is, do you have something else you could pick up? Too much to handle on a couple minutes on the radio. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, you ever go out with any vampires? <laughs> no. Carrie? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> I went out with a uh, blood sucker once, but uh, actually she was just a lawyer. Where's the high hat <laughs> over there? My, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Engineer Mike with his thumb and his nose back there. Lin- <laughs> he just told me it wasn't worth it.